Welcome and hello to the third part of our Houdini 25 tutorial series. As you can see this is super delicious what I've cooked here in Houdini from the past tutorial. And you can see how our pancakes are all falling from the sky like in the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. And the kitchen cutter lifts them up for the bakery. So you can see here our uh, chocolate or honey is poured on top of the pancakes and everything looks very elastic and also a bit plastic but the power of the MPM solver is to combine several matter states like liquid, soil, uh, chunks and fragments and everything together into one simulation so that you get different looks and appearances you might have not seen before. So what's also a very cool effect in the MPM solver uh, universe is the the way that you can do destructions with it. So here we have a building made out of MPM constraints and with the same material configurations as you might expect it from jelly or from rubber or anything else. And you can see here that our building lives inside the subnet here and we have here different material parameters like concrete and chunky. And I want to make this house a bit more uh, more appearing. So we go to the copy node and add some more levels on top. Now you can see it's a bit larger. And I also want the roof to be a bit more expanded. So let's change this quickly. So that we have a very large house and block we can then shatter with some elements. So that's all we need to do. As you can see now, we have here our house creation to something more reasonable. And you know, you can see we have here like a warehouse or something like that. And we have also our sphere here, which is the meteor or asteroid or whatever you want to throw at your jelly house. Well, let's put this a bit more in a visible way. I also make the uniform scale a bit larger. So we have a big, big chunk hitting our house. The meteoroid has a uh, concrete and chunky behavior. And you can see that we have a high density of 24,000. We have here a critical strength. Volume preservation, that means that the volume stays at the certain um, state. And now let's see how this is looking in our simulation. I'm very curious about this. So let's change a good view here. Let's also make a camera with a new camera here. Let's change the camera to HD. And now let's simulate. For the simulation, you can mostly use the flipbook uh, option in Houdini. The flipbook option is available here down at this little notebook uh, logo. So right click with your mouse, flipbook with new settings. Adjust the size to HD and hit start. And now let's cook and see what's going on in the Houdini world. So as you can see our foam house or jelly house or house made of sweets and of marshmallows gets hit by this massive meteor strike from outer space. 
and you can see how it's entering the structure of the building and everything falls apart and collapses so this is the way the modern witch house from Hansel and Gretel is destroyed with power from the orbit and you can see here how the impact is also smashing forward on earth so we have a massive um, M&M's and and sweets uh, trail created it's a big smarty party could also be made of ice cream in a in a in a in a uh, Iceland from cloudy with a chance of ice cream or something like that um, really depends on your way of visu visual uh, imagination all right you can make this even more um, massive and more powerful when you pretty much double the house and double the size of the meteor so let's do that now for that I go back into my MPM setup, go to the building model, go to the copy node, higher the amount of levels here from the building and also change this to 25 and we get a big, bit more like a, like a skyscraper thing. And then we're gonna adjust the sphere meteor object, which is here. Let's put it a bit more on side with our transform handles here in Houdini. You can see how this is there. And now let's double the radius. So we have a big, big chunk ball flying from the sky into our ice cream house on a hot summer day. So our crazy meatballs aliens from space approach our ice cream town and start the attack. As you can see they're smashing the chocolate layer and then the caramel layer. Everything goes down to vanilla and, and strawberry. And this is what makes the MPM solver so fun to play with because you can evaluate states of matter that normally don't exist in, in the real world. Therefore, it makes it very powerful and great to use. So let's cook that for a while here in the kitchen and let's see how this turns out. So you can see Toffee Fee Island is gonna get out of control. You can see here how everything bends and shakes and wiggles and wobbles. with the impact of our meatball assassins. So you can see pretty much and very cool how Ice Cream Town is uh, transformed into Lasagne Valley and uh, everything gets smashed into a cookie dough like feeling. And this is a very stable uh, solver and uh, also good in the calculation speed because it uses right the OpenCL from your graphics card which makes the acceleration a bit more um, accelerated. So you can see how our jelly ice cream destruction is taking down this house here making it into several tons of lasagna and with the cool visualization of the MPM solver it also looks like it's made up of Smarties or M&Ms or some other sweets you might consider for the weekend yeah I hope you learned something from this example and the last one I want to show you is the metal tearing example with the MPM solver. 
as this is something that finds its way often into the vi visual effects realm when creatures hit metal or when Hulk is getting angry and starts to smash around tanks and other military equipment. So here's the metal tearing example and you can see that we have a sheet of metal that is made of uh, metal and chunky behavior. And we have the MPMs uh, container domain here uh, where the simulation is taking place. And we have this piece of rock thrown by Ray Harryhausen uh, Cyclop which one which is getting smashed into the metal so i made it a bit more interesting by making the grid larger and our um, penetration object a bit more like a virus appearance something that is from outer space or beneath the earth whatever you want and you can see how the whole metal starts to implode and bend it also gets rippled and it gets scratched there and is uh, cut it off by this uh, energy ball there. This surely opens the world to very interesting effects like metal that is bended by shock waves or by energy forces or even by wind or by explosions and stuff like that pretty interesting concept you can visualize with the npm solver here with this setup so you also might think that this looks a bit like a cloth simulation and you're right you could also use the npm solver to do advanced cloth simulations and for this demonstration purpose we uh, think and intend that this is something like a very weight metal like aluminium or uh, something from from a, from a tin or something like this and you can see how here the things rip apart they are pinned to this outer edge and under the pressure of the incoming object it starts to rip and break apart so our virus uh, alien has entered the outer hull of our spaceship here and you can see how the metal banded and starts to fold around the element and it definitely should play around with the values to maybe get a more um, resist metal appearance so but for our presentation case here i think this is something where you get the idea what's possible with the npm solver and yeah let's see what else we can do with npm in the new houdini 25 release so last but not least is the jelly belly party you can see here in the preview where several cubes of whatever it is start to dense and start to roll against each other and imagine this in the terms of a new uh, soft body behavior where you quickly can define and generate the material matter of your object in an easy way and you can see how everything is jiggling and wobbling and bouncing around having a great time there And let's change this a bit to see the potential and the, the abilities of the NPM solver with quick settings and quick changes. So we have the cube here. Let's change this uniform scale, something more bigger. So we can pretty much put our cubes here with the scatter to points node in different directions and positions as you can see i scatter 25 of them let's make it 35 or maybe 45 
and let's also arrange the size of our boxes. So due to the increase of climate change temperatures around the globe our jelly party became a liquid party now and this is so great and powerful when you use the MPM solver that you just can fastly and quick switch the stage of your material behavior and from jelly to liquid you see that everything now gets into a mixed up level here and let's have a look at our simulation so far you can see how everything is melting and starts to splashing around and mixing the colors of every single cube and this is what you can achieve when you just play around with the different material settings from soil to water, liquid, viscous, whatever you like to have in mind or want to achieve visually. So another cool material preset is the sandy and snowy one. And as you can see our cubes here start to fall apart in a sand behavior, granular uh, behavior. And if you look close to the to the animation you see that every cube has a different way of falling apart and the looks of the sand pattern is very different from each other. So here's the final output of our jelly honey animation with the MPM solver. And you can get the idea how everything looks a bit like dough from the bakery and like honey that's melting away. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial as much as I did. And wish you a wonderful day. See you next time. Thanks.